one hi good morning god bless you it's your sister your friend usasu enogolo with joy again in my heart to say these things to you the bible says the man is the head of the home dearly beloved father dearly beloved dad you are the head of the house no argument we are not negotiating that anymore that's the grace of god that has been poured upon you because god has done that for you but before i go ahead have you done things that were wrong in the house and then you have just bluntly refused to say i am sorry you have you have wronged your wife you know it that what you have done is wrong but you don't know how to say you are sorry anymore for whatever reason because you think she's not going to do you anything after all i do everything in the house so she has no say on the matter dearly beloved dad dearly beloved husband when you say i am sorry i'm sorry do you know it promotes you? It increases you. It shows that you are humble. The word I am sorry, it's a big word. When you recognize it and you apologize for your wrongs. Dad, learn to say I am sorry. Pride will not take you anywhere. When you say I'm sorry, it means you want to make progress. It means you want to go forward. You don't want to remain in the same class. Because you see, the life that we are living is not in the hands of any man. When the Bible says promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west, neither from the south nor north, it cometh from above. It is God who promotes. Your wife can't promote you, neither can you promote yourself. Your boss cannot promote you either. It is God who gives promotion. And when God promotes you, no man can bring you down. But he needs a level of humility in you. The Bible says he will resist the proud and give grace to the humble. Be humble enough to learn to say I am sorry when you are wrong. It is not going to take anything from you. Rather, it's going to take you up. Don't say I am the head of the home and keep yourself bound in one place. Make progress, dear brother. Go forward and be that success that you were designed to be. And dearly beloved wife as well, are you not considering that because it is because of me the house rent has been paid? It's because of me the bees are taken care of. If not for me, that car would not be bought. And so when you do a wrong thing, you refuse to say you are sorry. Guy, babe, you are putting yourself in bondage because you are not deciding to exhibit the characters of God in your home and in your life. Let us say I'm sorry, dearly beloved family members. It's, it's going to be God's character in us and then we are making progress. We are not going to be bound in one place. It only shows that we are humble before God because the word of God says, humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. Promotion is from the Lord. Be learn to say you are sorry when you are wrong. Learn to say, I am sorry for the wrong I have done. It's not taking anything from you. Rather, it's increasing you. It's adding to you and making you have progress. The Lord bless you dearly and have a great week. I love you again and bye-bye.